I wanted to remove galvanizing from some pieces of EMT conduit, and I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of muriatic acid. Muriatic acid, you have to buy in about a gallon jug. I just didn't want the excess sitting around for the little bit that I had to do. So I went to the dollar store and bought toilet bowl cleaner with hydrochloric acid in it. Hydrochloric acid is the same acid that's in muriatic acid. You do have to look at the label to make sure that the toilet bowl cleaner is indeed an acid containing cleaner. In this case you can see it says contains hydrochloric acid right on the label. Even in toilet bowl cleaner hydrochloric acid is dangerous so you do want to make sure that you have base to neutralize it in the event that you spill it and to neutralize it once you're done using it on the tubing. I bought baking soda at the dollar store too. Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. It will fizz when it has acid. Using that same solution that I've already used to etch the zinc off of those other pieces of tubing, I put a fresh piece of conduit in, walked away for about an hour, and came back. You'll see once I put the tubing in that the bubbles form around the tubing uh, that's indicating that the acid is reacting with the zinc, making hydrogen gas that's bubbling out. Coming back later, I grab the piece of conduit, pull it out, and you can see the black line where the solution came up to, and the galvanizing is etched away on the bottom. I'm going to dip this in some sodium bicarbonate and water solution that I have sitting there just to make sure it's all neutralized. I'll rinse that off again, and it's now ready to weld. You do want to make sure that when you weld, you don't have zinc present because the vapors can make you sick. So I welded a cover uh, for a tarp to go over a piece of equipment that we were hauling. This is after hauling it uh, 300 miles. Uh, I painted the joints there after I finished the galvanized, after I finished welding, and everything looks good. Thanks for watching.